Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Fruit Factory. Now, you may remember this logo, but probably not this game. Yeah, basically, let's start this video off with a story time with Matt. So basically, like a month or so ago, I played a game called Fruit Factory Idol. However, unfortunately, I called the game Fruit Factory. I used this logo and I also used the hashtag Fruit Factory. Um, and it resulted in the developer of this game creating a video saying, for some reason, people are buying his game and he has no idea why. And then he worked out it's because I did all that mistake. And actually, he said I, I actually made him like between $500 and $1,000. So you're welcome for my mistake. Uh, because basically, people were trying to play the game that I was playing, Fruit factory idol and ended up playing this game but then this game was so good that they didn't refund it and therefore i thought it might be a good idea to check this out story time with matt so let's give fruit factory not idol a go it looks like a sort of similar thing but it's in 3d perhaps i don't know let's see what happens so our mission is to sort the fruit got it i can see apples dropping we're making a mess i reckon we probably need to get them over to that box seems like i can't do anything until i press continue i'm sort of tempted just to wait and see what happens see if there's a limit to the number of apples oh no this game isn't going to be cpu melting look you can see fruits disappearing as new ones spawn okay fair enough actually only apples are coming down the pipe right now so maybe sort is a strong word okay so we can start with a conveyor belt oh we can raise them up and down that's cool okay so we can rotate with middle clicks i reckon let's go from there over that way and then over to that way i'm ignoring i'm ignoring you mr man all right we are now sourcing apples and that bar is full which means whoa loads of conveyor Betty and stuff. So in this level, we have apples and strawberries coming from the same pipe. We've got to use a shaker to sort the fruit. Okay, so basically, if I raise this up one, the apples will stay on top because they're bigger and the strawberries will fall underneath. So if we do like that, we can then take a conveyor over to that way for the apples which are staying on top yeah and then as the strawberries go down we can then just take conveyor belt over this way and then over that way so it does that strawberries fall down there come along this way sorted literally oh although we used more budget than we're meant to oh no how do I use less budget on this? Oh, actually, look, because they're so high. Can you see most of them are missing the box? If I bin that piece, will that work better? Oh, that still costs one quid more than the budget. Really? Oh, and they don't really seem to make it. Oh, no, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They're making it. We just spent too much money. Oh, man. How do I save a quid? I don't know. Anyway, this next level, we have to repair the machine, but we can't build in the areas with a black floor. Oh, goodness. Um, oh, I can rotate. Okay, that's cool. I can rotate. So everything falls down there. We got to get everything over to here so is that where we can use one of these perhaps that's like a bouncy boy oh yeah that seems to be working that seems to be working oh yeah like look the apples bounce high and then the strawberries actually bounce low oh i did that for world cheap 25 i mean i think that was the only way to do it but i, I got three apples i'm not going to complain walls help with the accuracy of a machine and are cheap to build okay so what's going on okay everything's falling off there so we need we need a wall so that is a wall if i raise that that up one shove it there yes that is keeping everything moving along this is quite a cool game actually i like this so everything ends up around that way up to there strawberries fall down oh apples apples are falling off this edge so we need another another wall there so yeah now those apples are bouncing against there some of these apples have like stars on actually it all has stars on oh is that what this gold thing does does the gold add a star to it i guess so anyway more confetti more three apples okay so we've just been told what the golden stuff does basically it gives us an extra apple at the end but we need to make sure the fruit passes through there and gets to the golden box at the end um, and also in in this level we've been given melons which can you see they're like they smash into pieces when they fall from a great height so we got we got a couple of options that we can do with this now there's this thing a funnel which catches fruit softly so you can see it's got like flaps on the top so basically i could put a conveyor underneath to make that not smash i feel like what i probably should do instead though is use this thing here the large fruit conveyor and so if i put that facing that direction you see the melons going that way but there's a gap through it where the apples are dropping down so i then just gotta take the melon over that way and then if i use this down ramp at the end i can probably put it that direction and then that comes around the corner and then they go into the box sorted so melon's done to get the apples onto this conveyor i can use a down ramp again put it there no i can't because look then the apples then the apples get stuck so delete that and instead just do a conveyor like that way so then apples go 
that direction, fall onto there, they get the start, and then we can bring them over to this. Now, something I've just noticed, the, the normal conveyor costs 10 quid, but this one, which is a center conveyor, it's cheaper, even though it has a conveyor as well as these flaps. So what I'm thinking, rather than normal conveyor on there, or normal conveyor anywhere, like that one up there as well, replace them with these center conveyors, because they are, they're cheaper. Nice, right, and then from down here, we just go that way, that way, then along there, and then I just need a uppy one like that and then all the apples they should have star stickers on yes they do and they go straight into the box lovely jubble it so we did that for 84 quid out of 100 we get confetti and three apples so on this next level we have black floor which means we cannot build on it um, so we can only build on the orange tiles so what we gotta do we got apples dropping from the furthest one away the closest ones are dropping strawberries now the apples need to get covered in gold so if we do a conveyor in there and that's those sorted if i do another one there and then a bouncer facing that direction do the apples get over yes they bounce against the glass and go in nice so then i can use another bouncer there to bounce over the gold yep that's good then we do straight conveyor bouncer in that corner and the strawberries are getting in as well Ah, oh, decent i think we've done it oh and look at our budget 99 out of 100 so if we use normal conveyors there it wouldn't have worked the only way to get three apples and all that confetti is by using that tactic with the eight quid straight conveyors Ah, oh, decent i'm so glad i, I I figured that one out. All right, so in here, apples, I'm thinking we just bounce them. So bounce that way. Oh, no, they're bouncing too far. They're bouncing too far. Uh, question, if I were to do a bouncer like higher up, do they bounce? Oh, yeah, they do bounce further. So if I do that one even higher, oh, that bounces miles. Okay, well, I don't want those top two what i am thinking though we need we need a wall there yeah so they drop down onto that point and then we can just use our straight conveyors to get those in oh my god did you see that the fruit just went absolutely mental <laughs> it went flying right anyway yeah that seems to be the gold apples going in so apples sorted we just got to get straws over now if we put a bouncer down there yeah the strawberries because they're lighter they don't bounce as far they're just bouncing onto the conveyor. However, as we just saw, if we put a bouncer way up in the air, oh, it doesn't actually go as far, but it does just go to that point. So maybe I can just shove another bouncer there. Yes, we can. Hang on, delete that one down the bottom. Boosh. And then, yes, we're under budget. 95 quid. Okay, so that is how you do this level. You probably don't even need that wall, to be fair, because these apples would just bounce against that the side of that spring. But uh, me and my three apples, we're going to go on to the next level. Oh, boy. Okay, there's a lot going on here what have we got we got strawberries dropping down this way they need to end up there but with a golden a golden sticker okay what i'm wondering if i were to just put them in this end where do they end up so strawberries go in they wiggle around wiggle around wiggle around okay so they end up there so that probably means we don't want that there we're gonna want the strawberries to come around so i probably need one of those sorters like that so yeah the strawberries are falling down through there and then over this way if we keep up in the air we can just go that way and then that way oh and then actually rather than using another conveyor we can just use the down ramp one so yeah then apples come around there they're going in the right way ending up in the box now we've used 71 quid of our 170 quid budget so now we've just got to get these strawberries which are dropping through the gap most of them anyway so we've just got to take them this direction so if we do that sort of thing they end up on the golden conveyor and then hopefully where they go into the main machine yeah they just come under that under that little bridgey bit you see them coming along into the box oh we've done it 127 quid i'm actually getting quite good at this now i definitely need to to go back and get that extra apple that i couldn't get on level two so i'll just do that quick trying to use everything we've learned so basically start high use the down ramps because they are real cheap and then use the straight conveyors because they are cheap too do the same thing over this way so down ramp at the end yeah 87 quid oh it's so much easier when like you know like what to use <laughs> <laughs> but that should be two apples and then we fully completed this world which means we end up here now this is the level select <laughs> you can see we can go into this factory to do all those levels we've just done we have maxed those out though so basically we can continue we can absolutely we can absolutely destroy like every other vehicle on here like <laughs> 
<laughs> See you later, police car. Boosh, die, red cars. Yeah, you can really, you can really muller the town up, which is quite nice. And um, then over this way, I've spent some apples to unlock the next set of levels. Yeah, and basically, that's sort of what you do in this game. You keep driving around, you find building sites like this one. And oh, look, I've just unlocked those sets of levels. So we've now got level 17 to 24 as well. And then there's also like secret levels dotted about as well. So loads and loads of levels to keep us busy. Yeah, but for now, let's continue with these. So we've got grapes. And we've got to turn them into golden grapes. So what I'm thinking, down ramp, base it that direction. Or actually, if I go higher, can I shove? Oh, I can't actually shove one in there. Fair enough. What I can do, though, stick to the outside. So if I have one there and then one there, they just fall down. Oh, that's only eight quid. And it gets us to the golden conveyor. Then we can literally just use these straight conveyors. Oh, I, I cannot be this good at this game, surely. Solved in seconds for 56 quid out of the 75 quid budget. And that, I believe is three apples. Uh, yes, thank you. All. Right, this one, we got a glass wall. Oh no, the architects have been involved in this level. So what do we got? Grapes dropping down this side, oranges that side. Oranges have to end up up there, but they need a golden sticker. Now the conveyor belt is going from right to left. So if we place conveyor belt up in the air over that way, then, oh, they're nearly falling in the right spot. Actually, if I delete that second conveyor, replace it with a down ramp, they should land, yes, in the right spot. Okay, that's good. Because then underneath, we can just do a bit more conveyorage. We can do that way then that way. And then from this point, we can actually build conveyors at that level in the middle. But what we could do, we could just bounce. So if we bounce that direction, yeah, we end up there. So I could add another bounce are like that. That's probably quite expensive though. Oh, and we miss it. And we miss it. Yeah, but instead, let's just do, let's do it with conveyors like that. So that should, yeah, oranges land on there, go up the conveyor, sorted. So for the grapes then, I guess we use the same springboard. I think because they're smaller fruit, they shouldn't bounce as far. So if we just do conveyors that way, the grapes go on there. Look down here. The grapes are bouncing like way lower, which means we can just do conveyor that way, that way, and that way. And then that is that is that level completed, I believe. 113 quid out of the 200 quid budget. Look at the confetti. Look at the apples. All right. So then we move on to this. Oh, no. There's quite a lot going on here. So <laughs> we got melons. We got pineapples. We got grapes. Okay. Um, okay, what I'm actually thinking for the first one. Oh, I can't build on top of there. Oh, that is cheeky. I thought I could build on top of this black conveyor, but I can't. Oh, because it's got a black floor underneath. Okay, got it. So we have to use that conveyor, which means we probably need to go to there. Use a, an upward lift one and then go into there. So that's the that's the grapes sorted. For the oranges, you can see oranges and pineapples are falling out of this one. So I need to use one of these, which is the big fruit sorter. Pine apples need to end up over on that conveyor. Okay, so if I just send them straight for now, the oranges go down. You can do that with the oranges and then a conveyor at the bottom. So oranges are done uh, for the melon. Or actually for the melon, we can just use these saucer things. Like, yeah, if we just do that the entire way across, they're only eight quid each. So nice. That's melon saucer. We just got to try and get the pineapple over that way. Okay, question is, can I put a ramp? No, above that. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, what I may need to do then, if I shove a wall there, that means the pineapples, they just come straight down. I think I'm going to use these things rather than the straight conveyors. But if we just bring pineapples to there, they land on there, get the sticky. And then down the bottom, we can just convey it over that way like that. So that's almost good. I, we are losing a few pineapples off the back here. I could add some walls. That one just about made. Oh, they are just about making it now. Okay, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. Is that three, three apples? Yes, it is. Right. So what do we have here? What do we have here? So strawberries and apples come out the same pipe. We've then then got to try and sort them. Shock. So first things first, they're all coming along that way. So what I reckon we just shove a lift piece like there. So that lifts them up onto this sorter. So then apples go that way and then they end up there. So if I just do conveyor that way, the apples should go in there. Uh, for the strawberries though, how do I get them on a Sticker. I can see I got confetti. I haven't earned it though. How can I get the strawberries to end up on that conveyor? Oh, ooh, ooh, I've just realized. I just realized if I delete that conveyor and make it face like that direction, then it goes into this lift and then they go that direction. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I got it. I got it. If I delete that bouncer and put the stairs back in, because I've got a sorter up there now, everything should go around. Let's follow this apple. So that apple goes that way. All the strawberries. Oh, no, the strawberries aren't making it up, are they? Yeah, the strawberries don't make it up because that's a sorter. I forgot about that. Wait, what if that was just a straight conveyor? Yeah, then apples end up up there and i can't do anything about that okay maybe it's use a bouncer down this end i don't know all i do know is we spent 69 quid so i'm happy with my answer let's say continue take the apple and on that note i'll say sorry dev for playing your game but not playing your game before now i've played the game i enjoyed your game and this is fruit factory if you want to check it out yourself for now i'll say peace love and bridges bye